Hey everybody, welcome back to Detective Pikachu. What do you think these people think? Like, we just ran out of here, and now we're coming back, and Tim's about to solve the case. Because we... Because <laughs> Pikachu and Growlithe came back. So, hold on, Tim, let me get some water. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Tim, we're back. Oh, thanks, both of you. You're getting down off Growlithe now, Pikachu? Yeah, yeah, I am. Please. Who do you think I am? I can handle this. Mm -hmm. I, I fell. I hurt myself, Tim. I hurt my leg. How'd your investigation with Growlithe go, Pikachu? About that. Tim, we found some incredible evidence. Really? What is it? Well, you see. Let me tell you. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. It was all the other butler. That's about it. Well, wow, good work, Pikachu. I think we're definitely close to solving this case now. Yep, now hurry up and open that case notebook. It's time for us to go over this and analyze all the info we got. Okay, let's start to do Okay, hold on, let me say thank you to Growlithe. Growl, growl, growl. She's asking what you want. Do you want to talk to her? Or Jack has said. I just want to talk to her. Let's ask away. Oh, let's just say hello. Okay, let's start deducing. Okay, let's start deducing. Sure. Is this the only one we got? Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, this one that was wrong, wasn't it? The site we can prove by our distance. Uh, might be the letter, I guess. Okay. Oh, oh, Trevish found. We can prove Barnes is innocent with that, can't we? That's exactly what I was thinking. Here's what the note said: Open the window after Barnes leaves. That will be the signal. It's clear proof that Barnes isn't the culprit, and that the real culprit is still out there. Great. We did it. Barnes, you've been proven innocent. So someone else is up behind all this. Yeah. And not only that, there's multiple culprits working together. Someone who sent Pokemon in from the outside, and someone in the mansion who left them in. You think you ever let you think you ever let inside lived inside? Lived in the mansion? Mm, that seems like a natural conclusion. How did the culprit unlock the door to the jewel storage room? Only Barnes and Mr. Dennis can use the key, right? Usually, yeah, but the culprit found a way. A way to what? I mean, he knocked all the Pokemon out. He fed them all for breakfast, and they were all passed out. Think about it, Tim. When did Grada say the key disappeared? When she was sleeping. Mm -hmm. It disappeared when she was sleeping. That's right. And everyone else could have been taking the key while Grada was asleep. I guess you're right. But Growlithe doesn't usually nap. Do you really think she happened to nap? Oh, do you really think she happened to nap? Right when we were about to commit the crime? Hmm. That's just it. Think back on all the different Pokemon the Imagine told us. Did you notice anything they had in common? They were all sleeping. Mm -hmm. All of them went to sleep. That's right, Tim. Glad you noticed that. All the way over here. At the same time, the jewel was stolen. All the Pokemon in the mansion were asleep. There's no way it's a coincidence. You think someone you think something happened to it? I say the odds are pretty high. There'll be some kind of evidence that we can use to prove that. Let's search the mansion, Tim. I can already begin deducing this one. We got three already. Oh no, maybe not. They tied themselves out playing. They went shopping, tied themselves out. I don't think either this is the case. I think what the case is actually is let's have a look at his food bowl. This is the dish that Gordo's food was in. Some sort of powder on it. Sleep powder. <gasps> hey Tim, it's sleep powder. Well, you can tell just by looking at you. I'm a Pokemon, remember? Not to mention a great detective. Of course I can tell what kind of powder this is. I don't need to go sniffing it. Which means it was sleep powder in the food. See? Dude, I, I guess you can. You could just cook sleeping powder all up in there. Or sprinkle that shit on. I think we need to be sure of what of that. Hey Growlithe, eat this. 
figure out what caused the Pokemon to manage to fall asleep. I did. It was the food. Okay. The Pokemon in the mansion said they fell asleep after eating breakfast, and one of the food bowls found traces of sleep powder. What well, leads us to only one possible conclusion. Someone deliberately put the Pokemon in the mansion to sleep. Sleep powder. You know, it would have been cool if I could have clicked on that, found and clicked on that much earlier, and just had that ready to go. You know what I mean? Just like, ah, that's why. That's why there was sleep powder there. You know? Like, that would have been cool, I think. It's getting easier to picture just how this crime was committed. Why the culprit has gone to sleep with the powder in the first place? In this city, I can think of a few places. But if we follow the path it was using to bring it inside, we might learn the talk about the culprit. You need Gratis helping for that, right? Maybe take a little take a little powder with you, just in case. One step ahead of you. Now, let's talk to Gratis, Tim. Really? Hey, Gratis, can you get a whiff of the sleeping powder? Not too much of a whiff, because we don't want you to pass now. But we found another your dish. Bro. Thanks. Can we not sniff up too much, though? That's funny. Okay, we follow the scent of the powder, right? Let's get going, Ralph. Okay. Oh, no, I, I, it's you. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, can we talk to him, actually? He has a thing above his head. Yes. Oh, look at you play together. It must be nice to be, to be carefree as Pokemon. I am investigating the case. Sheesh, how rude. They take us seriously when we bring back some evidence, don't worry. No. That's what they think, I guess. That answers my question from previously. Alright, over this way. Um, do you think maybe that cutie fly? That can produce produce it, right? Yeah. Oh, he's got a blue thing now. What's going on? What did you want? What did I do? Was that Robbie? You look panicked. I did cutie fly. Wait, I'll give a nectar, but they haven't come back yet. Never takes them this long. I'm so worried if something happened. Robbery is usually upset. Hmm. I'll take it. Uh, I'd like to help, but uh, you could be a really tiny Pokemon. It's tough to find in such a big city. I don't know if you can get nectar. Hmm, let's see. Uh, hey, Grouch, do you think you can track down Clefairy and those? The uh, Kusawi knows? Definitely. I've already picked up that scent. The nectar from the rub Rumbery. Hmm, then, if you can follow the scent, you should be able to find a cute fly. Did you really? Oh, that would be incredible. Could you please go find my cute fly? We're on it. How many cute fly went out to get a nectar? You. I'll be waiting here. Please bring them back to me. Two cute fly coming up. Let's go, Gruff. Not really? Okay. They're like, oh my god, it's separate. It's a separate smell. It's a separate smell. Uh, uh okay, let's do this one smell first. I feel like we're like right next to it, so. Go this way first, and then we'll go grab that Pokemon. No, I was wrong, it wasn't her. Yo, a Venonat! Look at that, cool! There's a smell from a tree. Do I have for us to reach, though? Hey, Hewlett, can you hear me? Who's there? I was napping so peacefully. Wait, you saying you didn't come back because you were napping? rumbry has been worried sick about you. Oh no, I didn't realize. You have it past. I'd find such a nice napping spot that I could resist dozing a little. Oh, it must be nice to live such a carefree life, huh? Oh, anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Thanks for telling me. I'll go home right away. Yeah, you fucking do that. A nap, huh? <laughs> Don't feel too bad, Krellip. Nobody is mad at you for sleeping. 
Anyway, let's talk to this fucking Ven Matt. This is so sad, what we do now? There must be something around here. Let's look for the trace. Oh. It is, I mean, hello? Wait, let's leave that. It's a vent. No mistaking those massive eyes, apparently. They can even see in the dark. Oh, so sparkly. Yes, yes, let it wait, yes. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Okay, I'm just really busy, so let's yes, ask yes. How are you, Ven? What's got you so busy? Oh, not really. I'm just eating, that's all. I have to eat fast. Soon there will be time for dinner. I'm uh, eating, yes, yes. Oh, you got plenty of time till then, though, right? You're always in such a hurry. Yes, 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 yes. As everyone tells me, yes. Have you tried maybe chilling out a bit? Mm, can't. This is my natural state, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. What are you doing here? This is the best spot because you can see the whole city. This is lovely and play pretty and nice. I know that you mean many, many tea bags. Let's get it at night. Oh, yes, it's marvelous. Do you like bugs with that? Yes, yes, I so much. Is that my favorite treat? A favorite treat? Uh, I think we can drop this line of questioning. I'll just sleep better. Is this your sleep better? No, nope, definitely not mine. No, no, sorry. How can you tell? I, I use sleep powder to catch prey. I don't smell this soothing or beautiful. Nope. Nope, 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 one bit. I see. Uh, I, I do believe this is Lydigan's uh, fragrance. Yes. Yeah? And where would we find Lydigan? I would check nearby hedges. Probably, no, definitely, yes. Mm, there's a greenery. Yeah, okay. There's more fluff here. Okay. Is this it? Oh, over here. Hello. Oh. Hello again. Those are different Pokemon in this, eh? It's Lily Gant. This Pokemon is known for having an aroma that calms the heart of mine. So that's a really nice smell. Was. You think my eyes might smell nice? I was so it's... Did you mind if we ask you some questions? Not at all. Your timing is actually perfect. I was just taking a break from dancing. Oh, you were dancing in the bush? Ask me whatever you like. Okay, about you again. Tell me more about yourself. Uh, getting personal, are we, tee -hee? What the fuck? Unless I'm rather unremarkable, just a little gant with a love for dancing. You would have to look hard to find many others like me. Okay. Let's sleep at her. I don't think we care about this place. Is this your sleep at her? Yes, I recognize the fragrance. Do you remember giving this to anyone? No. You see, my sleep powder just puffs out naturally whenever I dance. Though now I'm thinking on it, there was a human who came by to watch me dance recently. Really? Do you remember? Do you remember what that dude looked like? Um, afraid not. Uh, I was in the zone. Mm, that's rough. Oh, fuck it, funny joke. Hey, is that something that you... Thanks for the help, Lily Gan. I see. Now we know how the sleep pattern was obtained. Are we done investigating? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I'll tell what we found. Let's hurry back, Ralph. Sure. Oh. No, no, don't, don't walk back. You did walk back last time. Oh, shit. Show who the copy is? Right. But you do something important. What was that? Think about it, Tim. The sleep powder scent trail led directly from the mansion to the trace. Do you really think that's normal? I guess it would make sense if that person who brought the sleep powder already lived in the mansion. Exactly. Makes it even more likely he is inside job. Mm. Someone managed to get some of Lilligan's sleep powder. And they mixed it into the Pokemon's breakfast. Sure sounds like an inside job to me. He's the culprit of someone inside the mansion. Let's do some more some sleuthing. Find out who. 
I mean, I think I already know who that was, though, but, um, before we do that, let's, uh, okay. go find that greedy fly. After all, we're a completionist. <laughs> it's not really true. But we'll do the side quest to slap us in the face at the very least. Ah, here we go. I can smell something in the bush. There might be a fly here. Hey, Hewlett fly, you're in there. Come on out, please. Go away. Hey, calm down. We're not here for nectar. Oh, really? Sorry. I thought you were here to steal my nectar. I can have it too. Us too? Is there someone else? That's right. Pokemon keeps coming to steal my nectar. That's why I hid in here. Oh, there you are. Look, it's back. Come on, give me some of those sweet treats. Take your time. You don't want to cause a problem, cutie fly. No, I'm not. I just want a little nectar, that's all. A tongue of yours. A tongue of yours? You can take all the nectar clay. It would lick. Well, maybe, but that was uh, thumping sweet. I want something thumping sweet. Is that why <laughs> Is that why I had the tea? Because he was like talking with his tongue out. Thumping. <laughs> thumping <laughs> sweet. <laughs> hmm. Then why don't you come back and see Rumbry later? You do? I'll share some of the pollen puffs Rumbry makes for us. Really? Yeah, okay. I guess I can wait for now. That's really hard to do. Yeesh, what a pest. Anyway, you can go back to Rombri now. Yes, thank you, Pikachu you Gallif. And we found the clue, clue fire. No thanks to your nose, much appreciated. Well, I wish we knew we'd count on you, Gallif. Tell us how you about this later. You two might not speak the same language, but it definitely seems to understand your feelings. Why don't we head back and make sure those clear fire back to Rombury? Right. Head back right now. Pikachu, really, thank you so much. Oh, both cutie fly come home safely. No need to thank us. Just glad to have another case closed. You would? Road drop, coming and straight home, cutie fly. Sorry we worried you. Cutie Fly, please promise me two things from now on. One, don't go anywhere dangerous. And two, don't goof off. Okay. We did it. Another case solved. Alright, Growlithe. Let's fucking book it, dude. We need to get the hell out of here. We can go see Tim. Probably should have done that first. This is a lesson learned. Truly a lesson learned. Mm -hmm. We're investing in Gralif? Yep, I am. Thank you, Gralif. Alright. Hmm. Uh, ask me anything you like. About Gralif's food. My staff member, Turner, always prepares the food here. Hmm. It used to be one of Barnes' duties, but the task had fallen to Turner since he joined the staff. Yeah, he truly made himself quite useful. Wow. Yes? Make sure that's, uh... Yes, I'm sorry, I really appreciate your help. Yes? I don't know anything about Gallus' food. I just should talk to Turner about that. Did you happen to see Gralif eating a few today? No, I don't. I didn't. I'm not in the habit of watching her eat. Pokemon in the house eat in separate rooms from us humans. What the fuck? Why? That's fucking weird, don't you think? They ate in the same room. Their fur feather, fur feathers, or want to get in our food. So they eat in a different room. The request, of course. Right. Okay. I don't think that happens. 
A policy like that is not going to make you very popular with Pokemon, lady. Yeah, alright, it's definitely Tana. Yes. We're going to ask everyone else first. Yes. Because Tana's a flight risk at this point. Uh, I know exactly what kinds of Pokemon Grove prefers. She particularly is part of sweet. When I was in charge of her meals, I made a point of preparing sweet desserts for her. You're good guy, Burns. You could learn a thing or two from this guy, Tim. Give me more sweets. Is Pikachu alright? He seems acting strangely. Don't worry, this is normal for him. I see. You have what Mr. Dennis said. I'm guessing he told you about his butler. Definitely not pleased that Barnes has fallen under suspicion. Um, seems that way. In my position, we're not liberty to share all the information we gathered. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thank you. Oh, well that, that's crazy. Um, let's not worry about any of that right now. I don't think we need that. Alright, let's talk to Tanner. Please talk to me again, mister? Yes, of course, ask me anything. Yes. I've got us food. Mr. Dennis is really picky about the ingredients I can choose for grass food. He tells me to put what to put in it and I make the food his exact specifications. Hmm, a little side of sleep powder, Turner? Sounds like Mr. Dennis really cares about grass health. Yes, he truly cares about the Pokemon. A good egg, that one. Hmm, Dennis seems like quite the guy. Hmm, what about What's healthy, that was what's tasty, don't always match up though. That's true. That is super true. Um, anything else? There's no one else to really talk to us about, right? I guess we can talk to the detective about these other things. I don't really want to ask him about my dad right now, like we're working a different case, you know? I mean, that was a feather. Hmm. I guess there's no one else here. Oh, how about you? The storage room seen the crime. Yeah, okay. Well, okay, let's start deducing. Oh, you wanna start deducing now, huh? Okay. You'll be able to fix the sleep mix the sleep powder into grass food. Let's figure out what who yeah. it. Um uh, well I think it's Tana. He makes the meals, right? That is fucking weird. Yeah, no, it's got. I think it's got to be Larry Turner. Okay. The only the only person who could have put the sleep on the food in the meal is Turner. Has to be him. Bingo. He's in charge of preparing the Pokemon's meals. He could easily have slipped it into their food. However, this fact alone is not enough to implicate Turner. Oh fucking really? So is the one who used the sleep powder. That's just conjecture. We don't have any hard evidence. Definitely to find some proof, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. It's kind of an aggressive move, but we could try shaking him up a bit. Let's see if we can make Turner nervous. We might learn something based on the way how he reacts. Think you're up to it? Let's have a try. Oh shit, we gonna fucking target the shit out of this guy. Shine light in his eyes. Right, I'll play. I'll play good cop. You play bad cop, Pikachu. Yes. Oh, hello, Tim. How's the investigation going? Actually, I'm a bit stuck at the moment. Oh, sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do to help? Actually, I'm hoping to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. And by all means, ask away. A camera. Excuse me. You got a partner, camera, right, Mister Tanner? Oh, what? How did you know that? Uh, I came up with a while ago, gathering statements in, in the city. Hmm. I see. I hope you don't think I was hiding that fact or anything. I was afraid that it might become a suspect. I did tell the police, of course. Really? Did you really tell the police? I'm not sure you did. I think you fucking lied. I was not seen him, actually. Worryingly so. Where have you gone? Oh, we just saw Cameron walking back toward the mansion. 
But that little... I told him to stay put. Hmm? Stay put? Why did you tell him that, Miss Turner? Oh, I, I didn't want him going out on his own. He was so worried that he might have gotten mixed up in crime somehow. Uh, thank you so much for finding him, Tim. It's a huge relief. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that Ponyon might have cut the jewel case. Really? I mean, yes, uh, I think you've cracked it. So it was a Ponyard that punched you, punched you, Miss Turner? Yes, it most certainly was. It really hurt. In fact, it still hurts. You sure a terrible liar. This fucking guy. Hmm. Based on Turner's reaction, I think it's pretty clear that he's hiding something. Hmm, I just wish I was able to dig a little deeper. Nah, you did a great job. At least we learned one thing. Cameron is the key to solving this case. What's left is to ask him ourselves. Are we gonna go see Cameron? Yep. Just we wait, Mr. Turner. We'll catch you. Alright. We I mean, know where Cameron is, I guess. He must have the jewel in his stomach. I think that's what we have come to the conclusion of. Oops. Right, where was he? Where was he? He was with the Trubbish, wasn't he? Uh, which was up, up here to the left. Oh shit, there he is. I thought he was going to be down that back alley. Look, here's his camera. Why are you going to go back to Turner? Didn't make it very far, did you? Cameron, you've been resting because your field's full of full of talk. Yeah. Why is Cameron the only one who feels so unwell? Nothing else was fine. You must have overeaten, or he swallowed something that his digestive system can't handle. Wait a second. This punches him in the stomach. <laughs> a missing jewel, and now Cameron's full belly. What are you thinking, Pikachu? I figured it out! Ah, a bolt of brilliance! Oh. They came out of the... The stolen jewel there. we seek is right over there! Huh? Hmm, you figured something out? Oh yeah, I figured it out. <clears throat> Jesus. I bet you figured it out too, haven't you? All right, final question. Where to turn out how to jewel? Once you place together all the information we gathered so far, we'll definitely figure it out. I mean, it's Cameron. Okay. I'll give you a hit. The jewel is most certainly taken out of the mansion. Pokemon was used to do it. Pokemon. Yeah, think about the unique characteristics of each Pokemon in the mansion. Which one of them is the ideal features to hide in the jewel? Yeah, all right. Fucking hell. They sound a bit fucking okay. thick, don't they? Cameron could have gulped down anything, right? So the jewel was mostly hidden in his belly. Yes, you got it. Turner made Cameron swallow the jewel. And the reason he feels full is because he's still got the jewel in his belly. Turner didn't have time to receive the jewel after the theft, did he? Nope, I'm positive the jewel is still in Cameron's belly. Now, enough evidence. Back to Turner. Another deduced, deduced. Okay. Okay, we got all the proof we need. Now we just need to catch the culprit. Let's go tell Holiday and everyone else involved in the case. Are you ready, Tim? Yeah, sure, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Let's reveal the truth together. We gathered everyone together. <laughs> Actually, gathered everyone together like a fucking episode of Scooby Doo. Let's take care of business. Everyone, thank you for coming. The sudden conference had better be important. It is. We've identified the real culprit. Have you now? Yes, Mr. Barnes isn't the one who stole the jewel. Oh, oh. Who did it then? <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, who did it? I just, if, I, if it wasn't me. Let's start with how the culprit entered the jewel storage room. 
There were no signs of forced entry on the door, so the culprit must have used the key. But Growlithe was guarding the key. No one but my husband or Barnes could have taken the key from Growlithe. Yes, exactly. So how did they... I guess it must have been Barnes then. What a fucking, what a fucking guy. It wasn't. You see, the culprit had a trick up their sleeve for taking the key. It was... They made her fall asleep. And stole the key. The culprit used sleep powder to make Growlithe fall asleep. And after that, they took the key. Do you have evidence of that? Yeah, of course I have evidence. Take a close look at Growlithe's food bowl, Inspector. The fuck is wrong with you, Inspector? Elegant sleep powder in it. Of course. So that's how the culprit got into the jewel storage room. But they couldn't possibly have cut open that sturdy display case in such a short time. Yeah, good point. No, they could have if they had Pokemon accomplices. Pokemon? Hook the fable. <laughs> The culprit somehow used Whimsicott and Ponyard, and got Ponyard to cut open the case. What? How is that even possible? We may understand now how the jewel was stolen. But that doesn't necessarily prove that Barnes is innocent. This fucking guy. Actually. I do have proof that Mr. Barnes is innocent. Then we have a, a the note, yeah. We discovered this note in a Trubbish's possession. Uh, a note? The culprit jotted down their whole plan. They wanted to frame Mr. Barnes for the crime. Then that would mean Barnes is innocent. So who's the real culprit? The real culprit is right here with us. Oh my god, why are we making such a show of this, aren't we? What do you mean? We should have told the police this ahead of time so they could arrest him. <laughs> he is fucking bolt. It's Larry Turner. The thief who stole the Aurora drop. It's... Mr. Turner, you're the culprit. Who, me? What the uh, hell? But, but I'm a victim of this crime. Ponyard punched me. It punched you, huh? Ponyard has blades for hands, and I don't see any cuts on you. If you really think I'm the culprit, then where's the jewel? I don't have it on me, and I haven't set foot outside the mansion. Where's the jewel? Isn't it obvious? No, it clearly wasn't. It's with. <laughs> it wasn't even obvious to you two minutes ago. What? That's funny. Uh, it's in camera. Out. There we go. Of course, you don't have the stolen jewel. You hid it. In Cramorant's belly. Excuse me? Cramorant's maybe Turner's partner, but even so... Where is that Cramorant anyway? Mr. Turner, you clearly put a lot of thought into your plan. But when we investigated the crime scene, we found a Cramorant feather. We also and found Dr. Feathers, to be fair. sense of responsibility. Those two things did you in. Now, please call your Cramorant. <clears throat> Cramrat. All right, let me handle this. What the fuck? What the hell is that on his back? You see that? Why is he got like there a fucking? Is. 
the Aurora drop. Okay. And the key to the storage room, too. What the fuck? What was all this back? I'm afraid you can't talk your way out of this, Mr. Turner. It had like a, a portal... <laughs> like a, a portal companion key was So back. close to living the easy life. I shouldn't have teamed up with someone I barely knew. Hmm. I'm sure Holiday will look into to this accomplice. Right, let's leave this to the place. I was wrong this whole time. For us here, the Aurora Drop was a symbol of hope. I thought I could bring hope to even more people. Why well, I decided to donate it. I never thought it was an incident like this. Maybe I should forget about donating it and keep it quietly locked up in the house. Goodness gracious, you of all people. You really think so little of the Aurora Drop? What are you saying, Cordelia? Did you tell me yourself what you hoped whoever looked at that Aurora Drop would not only see its beauty, but also feel cheered up and encouraged by it? You're really going to give that up, I hope? Just because of the stroke of bad luck? Wouldn't that be a terrible waste? Did you agree, Barnes? Indeed, ma'am, it's just as you say. Mr. Dennis, your plan to donate the jewels to the people of Rome City it was most certainly not a mistake. Uh, please believe in yourself and do what you think is best. Molly, Bards, forgive me. I think I let myself get too shaken by what happened today. I believe in the beauty of the orange drop, the people of Rome City. As you should. A fable. Thanks for chiming in there. Claudia, weren't you against the donation? Don't misunderstand me. I just don't want to deal with your moping around like the rest of our lives. That's all. Yeah. I see. Thank you, Claudia. This incident has forced me to reconsider, shall we say, some of my views. Oh, Duckless, let's all eat together from now on. Why would that change your opinion? It looks like Mr. Ness and the others are all getting along better now. Yep, that wraps this up. Ironic, huh? Crammer and swallowed the jewel, and now you've got to swallow the bitter consequences. Well, take him away. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is on his back? Oh, okay, it's acting up now. Cremorin, are you all right? Don't just stand there. Hurry up and grab it. Right. Oh my god. Someone did close the windows upstairs, I hope. Oh, no. They got away. <laughs> How could this be happening? Oh, fuck it, fuck it, Jesus Christ. Turner! Uh, hold on. I swear I had nothing to do with that. Why don't we discuss this down at the station? Yeah, fucking cuff his ass, dude. What's this fucking Disney ass fucking Pixar world we live in where you just walk in next to a criminal? He just committed a crime. He's dangerous. He's a flight risk. Cuff that boy. Growlith, you did a great job. Ow! Hey, Pikachu. Look. Oh. Oh. Are you leaving already? See you around. Hi. Say, Tim. Did you notice Cramorant's back? Yeah, there was something glowing on it. Yeah, there was. Yeah, it was a weird ass cube. Anything like it? I wonder. Maybe Turner didn't know what was going on. Something tells me this is just the beginning. Something, huh? <laughs> it's something, huh? <laughs> Later that evening at Tim's apartment. Oh my God. Tim's apartment oh. later. Tim's back! 
<laughs> oh god, this is a huge well, you know episode. Late. Good evening. Oh, and who is this? My classmate, Rachel. It's nice to meet you. Is she your girlfriend? Huh? If only. <laughs> Rachel's here because. Hello, sorry to barge in so early. I was hoping to get some advice from the great detective here. I didn't realize his family was visiting there. Welcome, Rachel. Didn't mean to startle you. Sophia and I just arrived at Rome City yesterday. We can see my brother's award ceremony. Oh, really? It's probably the first time you've all seen each other in a while. Really hope I'm not in the way. Please, don't worry about it. We've been in town for a while yet. Make yourself at home. Yeah, I'll make some tea. Uh, thank you, really. See, Tim? I told you. I, I read and Sophia with us, Dad. Yeah, you're right, I'm glad. Holy crap. Well. Next time. Um, or should we talk to these guys now? Let's talk to these guys now. Fuck it. Let's go a little bit longer and talk to these dudes right now. So we nice for you to tell your mother and sister. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it is, but... Uh... Hey, do you want to discuss something? Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, I must feel awkward to talk about it around so many people. <coughs> Jesus. No, it's not that. Chatting with you and the family has actually helped a lot. Trust me, it can wait. Really? Well, if you're sure. Yes. Love, sis. So Rachel's archer girlfriend? That's correct. No, nope, just a classmate. She came by and talked to me about something. Tell you, like, how she's your girlfriend? She doesn't know my girlfriend. Atta girl, Sophia. Tim needs a little gentle shove to get things moving. Don't start to Pikachu. Hee hee. Haha, uh -huh. hee hee, hoo hoo. Right. You really don't need to worry about it, Tim. Huh? Worry about what? Bring your Rachel. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pikachu's voice is fucking me up a little bit more than I expected. Bring your Rachel home, of course. Oh, uh, mom, well, uh, I think you might miss understanding something. I make enough food for eight people, so... So he's what she likes. Oh, he's talking about dinner. Wait, eight people? Is that a bit much? Right. Okay. Dinner's ready, everyone. <laughs> well, I should probably get going. Come now, why don't you stay and eat with us? Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, you heard them. Uh, what do you say? I mean, who could turn down an invitation like that? Yay! Yeah, I'm sure lots of people. <laughs> I feel like I certainly would. We get the hell out of here. Everyone. What did really you, you, ma you make? Macaroni time. and cheese? Wow! Looks amazing! Thank you, Mom! Mom made her special mac and cheese for It us. was a mac and cheese. So wow. This is the dish that Harry kept raving about, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is incredible! Good, huh? Mm. <laughs> what the? <sighs> Wait. He's dying. He's sleep powder. Oh, he's fell into the macaroni and cheese. Oh my god, what, what is happening? <laughs> Irene, we need to talk. What is it? I want a divorce. What the fuck? What? Are you joking? Take care of Tim and Sophia for me. Where is this coming from? I'm sorry. Harry, there must be some reason. I'm sorry, Irene. Harry. Okay. Oh, 
Are you okay, Pikachu? Massive. You had me worried suddenly it's fainting. Spoilers, like that. I feel there. Is Pikachu's uh, voice the same I as Harry's? Fainted? Yes. Got my suspicions now. Well said, I got those suspicions. I've seen I've seen the Detective Pikachu movie. I got suspicions. His dad was Ryan Reynolds all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right oh thank goodness it looks like pg recovered yeah that fucking macaroni and cheese knocked him the fuck out eh yeah i think he's okay now so rachel do you feel okay talking about your problem that's okay it's <laughs> um excuse me i just <laughs> i just had a i just passed out mid mac mac and cheese are you sure you don't want to keep it bottled up and so much fun with all of you just not bottling up with me, anyone. We'll discuss it next time, okay? Sure. In that case, oh my god, the voice is all over the place. Mind if I ask you something instead? Uh, by all means, I'm honored to help the great detective. Uh, do you happen to know anyone who knows about jewels? Apparently the jewel store in today's case was so really, really special. I could use some more information to help track it down. Well, one of the professor's specialists in archaeology can introduce, introduce you to him, Tim, if you like. Really? Could you, please? That would be a huge help. Uh, sure. I'll sort it out when I get home tonight. How should I contact you? Uh, why don't we meet at the Hi Hat Cafe? We don't got a phone? That was good. See you then. Feeling better? Yeah, I guess. Pikachu. Huh? What's that? Lucky like beauty. You too. There is something the two of you must know. When I was in my cave a few days ago, I was attacked by several Pokemon. Yeah, we saw on the news. No matter how many times I overpowered them, they didn't seem to feel a thing. Maybe R again? No. These Pokémon had no will of their own, as if something was controlling them. They, had, they have little cubes on their back? As for Harry... Harry? Huh? Oh my god, the Beedrills. Oh, that's chasing Mewtwo still. What was it? Look! Those lights! Like the one we saw in Cramorant! You think the two are related somehow? I'd say. Almost certainly. Finding the Aurora Drop may be the key to solving this mystery. Yeah, let's follow up on that. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a lab coat. It's so the that fucking that creepy. The, Aurora met. Drop. the swarm of Beedrill that attacked Mewtwo. They both had glowing devices stuck to them. After hearing Mewtwo say my dad's name, I think if I investigate the Aurora Drop, that I might get closer to finding him. Okay. Now we got some deductions of our own there. The next morning. Hey. Okay, today we're gonna find out about who took the Aurora drop, right? Uh, yes, Rachel said he introduced me to a professor from Brad's University. We still got a little time before we're supposed to meet her at the High High Cafe, though. Family doesn't visit often. Why don't you chat with them before we head out? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, alright, we'll talk to them next time. But before all that, let's do a little quick deducing there. All right, so was Harry's was Harry's voice saying I want a divorce? Was that the same voice actor as Pikachu, or did it just happen to sound close? Was it just was it just a human male uh, that's slightly deeper than everyone else? Um, if so, I think potentially Harry inside Pikachu somehow mushed all up in there. 
and mixed with Pikachu, right? So for spoilers, um, spoilers for the Detective Pikachu movie. Uh, so you can turn the turn it off right here. Uh, if you've not seen it, you should watch it. It's good fun. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is Pikachu. Uh, Ryan Reynolds also plays uh, the kid's dad. I forget the kid's. I guess is his name Tim. I forget the kid's name in the film. Um, plays his dad as well, right? His dad was inside Pikachu. That seems really weird. That the film would spoil um, the uh, the second game. <laughs> that seems really, really weird. Um, maybe that was like I've not played the first game, so maybe that was like kind of obvious, and it's just kind of um, being hammered in here. I don't know, but that's that's my current suspicions. Also, villain. Who's made these cubes? We think it's that weirdo we saw in the park. It has to be him. Because he was... He he weirded me out. He struck me as villain material. And he's after Mewtwo for some reason. Potentially for his psychic powers. Because Mewtwo's fucking Mewtwo, right? Like, super powerful. He's, <laughs> he's OP in Pokemon Unite. So therefore, he wants a hold of him. Makes sense. But, uh... All right. Anyway, watch Sexy Pikachu. Um, it's good fun. I haven't played the first game, but I figured that out as we go. Um, I think the basics of the first game we were given. Um, I'm also now just realizing that I think I might have just spoiled. Uh, I might have spoiled Sexy Pikachu like ten minutes ago uh, by accident. That's my bad. My bad. <laughs> if, if, if you haven't seen it, <laughs> that's my bad. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching next time we'll talk to mom but then we'll go find and we'll go see rachel uh since she's going to introduce us to this jewel guy so hope you guys are enjoying this if you are please interact with the video somehow below youtube loves that shit, and i'll see you all next time bye bye <laughs>